So guys, today we're doing a review on Grinds coffee pouches. I uh, maybe you guys did too, but I saw these on the TV show Shark Tank. What they basically are is it's basically like a tobacco pouch. You know, you chew on, put in your lip, whatever. But these are a coffee version. They're actually coffee grounds inside of the pouch, and according to the maker, it's actually brewing a cup of coffee in your mouth while it's sitting, you know, in between your cheek and your gums. They come in three flavors, cinnamon roll, mocha, mint chocolate, and uh, this is a variety pack that I bought. It's a sampler. You get one of each flavor. Uh, I believe when you buy the other flavors, they come in packs of threes, but it's probably a good idea to get the variety pack and see which one you like best. Cans on these are pretty nice, well-made cans, nice little graphics on it. They do have a strange feature, maybe I'm just not used to it. It's got a little container on top, a little portion of it to stow a used pouch. Why you would want to, I don't know. Not exactly a feature I'll ever use, but I guess somebody might want it. The only flavor I've tried so far is cinnamon roll. I figured it'd be my favorite flavor. It's actually not the greatest tasting thing in the world, but it's not horrible. If you don't like plain coffee, you'll probably be okay with it. I actually prefer unflavored coffees. When I do drink coffee, I'd rather have my coffee just straight black, no sugar, no cream, no anything. So this is a whole new world to me, so I gotta get used to it, but it's not bad. The good thing about these is you aren't just getting some dried out coffee grounds put into a small tea bag. These are actually super moist. What they moisten them with, I don't know. But the containers hold really well. I've had cinnamon roll open for about two weeks now. And I'll show you. Should be able to see. You can see the moisture on the lid. These are still super moist. Get it to focus a little bit here. There you go. Super moist, but here's what they are. It's basically the same thing as, you know, your tobacco pouch, and you can immediately smell the flavor just fills the room. But um yeah, nothing really different than a tobacco pouch. Minus the tobacco. I'll drop the lid here. So what's in them, you ask? The uh, company claims it's just B vitamins, and caffeine, and zero sugar. So I guess technically they're not horrible for you. Probably not bad for you. They say each pouch is equivalent to about a quarter cup of coffee. So if you're a heavy coffee drinker looking to substitute, you're going to need a lot of this. If you, I don't know, just looking for that little bit of a kick, I guess it'll do the trick. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I actually drink it, I don't know, fuck. So if you're wondering what's in each pouch, all the ingredients, you know, just basically coffee, it's just B vitamins and caffeine. They claim zero sugar, so I guess they're somewhat good for you, or just not bad for you. They uh, Each pouch contains about a quarter cup of coffee, so if you're you know a heavy coffee drinker throughout the day, you're probably going to need quite a bit of these. If you're just looking for a quick little jolt, or you know you just need a little pick-me-up, then you should be alright. Uh, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. And the first pouch I put in gave me a good little boost for a little while. And then now that I'm starting to get used to it, the effect is kind of dying off. But, you know, I try to just throw a pouch or two in in the morning and that's about it. I don't really hit them towards the end of the day. But maybe if I did, it would, you know, keep it going. But um, the work is, you know, you take the pouch out. Grab one pouch, put it in between your cheek and your gums, 
you know, depending on how you chewed before or if you haven't chewed before. Everybody's kind of got a different spot they like to put it in. Some put it on the side of their mouth. Some put it right in front. Some guys like to put it up top. It just, you know, wherever it's comfortable for you, you'll find your spot and you'll find a spot you like. And uh, for me, it takes about, I don't know, I'd say 15, maybe 30 minutes before it really starts to brew, I guess you'd say. And that's when I actually start to generate spit. Now, normally, I consider myself to have a somewhat dry mouth, so maybe for other people it would be much quicker, but it's usually about 15 to 30 minutes for me before I start going. Now, as far as spitting goes, company says it's perfectly fine to swallow your spit, which is basically just coffee that you just brewed. Um, obviously, if you're not a fan of the flavor, you probably just want to spit it out and get rid of it. If uh, you know this is going to be a substitute for chewing to you, then maybe that spitting is kind of the habit you like, so you're going to want to spit it either way. It doesn't really matter. You get a little bit bigger of a boost if you don't spit it out. But as for me, I like to, you know, it's the habit of spitting it is one of the main things, I, you know, reasons I use it. So spitting it is what I do. So as far as, you know, tobacco alternatives go, they're kind of limited. You know, you have your mint chews, you have your, you know, beef jerky chews. And I mean, this is the only other option I've really come across as an alternative. Now the beef jerky, at least any I've ever had, is super dry. You can't really extract the flavor out of it and kind of pointless. Um, I've yet to try mint. Uh, I was actually going to order a can before I ordered these, but these got priority. And uh, yeah, as far as that goes, these these are, you know, aside, you know mint's not going to really give you a jump. Beef jerky's not going to give you a jump. These will at least give you a little bit of a caffeine boost, so you're still getting something out of it. So these are probably your best alternative. So yeah, hopefully I'll uh, dig into these other two flavors here pretty soon and possibly like them more than cinnamon roll and order me a pack of whichever one I like the best. But uh, you guys should definitely check these guys out. It's uh, getgrinds.com. They uh, After the show, they had, I guess, a huge flooding of orders. So it took a little while to get these out, but pretty soon here they should be getting caught back up and you should get them a little bit quicker than I did. But uh, good stuff, and make sure you uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.